These are some of the first images from the aerial assessment of coral bleaching in the Great Barrier Reef. Bleaching occurs when warmer ocean temperatures and pollution force coral to expel the algae that live in their tissues. The algae give the coral their range of colours. Scientists have declared 2024 a mass bleaching event. We call a mass coral bleaching when we see the majority of corals on many of the reefs that we survey across large areas of the marine park are bleaching and that's the situation we're in at the moment. Coral bleaching is just a stress reaction from corals so you could compare it for example to heat stroke in a human. Until now, coral in the southern section of the 2,000 kilometre stretch of reef had largely escaped the most severe consequences of bleaching. But heat stress caused by an extreme marine heat wave over an extended period of time means some structures, hundreds of years old, have been severely damaged. It's disturbing to say the least. Uh, it's, it's sad. It's, um, it's infuriating, really, because we know the cause. Marine biologist Jody Rummer has witnessed five mass beaching events on the Great Barrier Reef in the past eight years. She says ocean temperatures are increasing at a rate never seen before, and that's an ominous sign for the biggest coral system in the world. We're seeing this back to back, year upon year. The reef needs many years to recover from these heat waves, and it's just not getting it. What's happening here on the Great Barrier Reef is also happening on reefs around the world. Over the last 12 months, warming sea surface temperatures have caused bleaching events in the northern hemisphere, and the El Nino conditions in the Pacific have amplified the situation. Scientists say widespread bleaching in both the northern and southern hemisphere puts the world on the cusp of a global bleaching event. We're certainly seeing a year-on-year -year increase in temperatures and, and in many ways for us that's meant that we've, we've actually started to recognise that every year there's going to be some exhibition of, of thermal stress for uh, species like corals. UNESCO's World Heritage Committee will decide if the Great Barrier Reef should be listed as in danger when it meets in New Delhi in July. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Townsville. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.